Hello, hope you're all well. This is Calibre R459 in a Suma triplex. This is a pretty cool construction where the case ring has an expanding um, has an expanding wire inside this uh, movement holder ring, and you screw these screws in. It expands the um, uh, pushes on the wire that uh, secures it into the case. Very nicely secured um, into the movement. These movements in general are very nicely made. Um, it's pretty cool with the balance guard design, balance cock that goes over like this. And you have an okay finish on the ratchet and uh, crown wheel. To, for being a Sumer from this time period, they um, it's not as well finished as some of their other movements, but still a very high grade in general. Um, this is a plated case that has been restored with uh, modern chrome, so it's quite robust, and with you know expected use for a vintage watch like this, it would probably outlast its new owner uh, if somebody wants it. Here's the case back. There's a couple of um, stains in there. Let's see if we can tidy that up. There we go. Get rid of that. Don't want any fat fingerprints, do we? I've been as careful handling the case back, but when I'm going to pop it on the case now, I'd like that to be all clean. Pretty tight snap on case back like this, no water resistance on this case. But what makes this watch spectacular is the absolute fantastic dial on this thing. You have three different finishes and a lot of detail. Um, see if we can get some macro shots of the details here. It's really cool. I'm a sucker for black and white dials. I really think that's uh, I think that's a really nice combination, especially with the gold markers. Very closely related to the. Um, early water sports. I do have one for sale as well with a similar dial, but this one takes the cake. This has an extra finish with these vertical lines coming down here and then the uh, waffle grain on the outside and a uh, little bit of uh, wear in the center here, but overall it survived very well considering the age of the watch. Original crown as well, superb example. So if we look at the finish on the dial, you can see this um, where the separation between the silver and the black goes. You have this very nice decoration going on the outer ring. You have the seconds that have been um, marked into the dial in, uh, and plated rose, rose gold. And then you have the kind of railroad track going around. Then you have the vertical lines coming in towards the center. You see the beautiful cutout of the hands. Very nicely done. Look at that second hand in blue steel, also very nice. And you got the hour hand coming out there. Just a very nice finish overall. You have the logo, logo which is um, again a part of the dial. And you got the um, indexes coming around. This is an absolutely beautifully executed dial. So we are going under very strong marker here, so it's uh, every little defect is visible. But um, very cool dial and um, very nice movement. So um, it, it just comes together very nicely, in my opinion. Wow, look at that. Could be yours. I don't really like being advertising or salesperson like on the videos here, but in the end of the day, I do make a living by repairing uh, vintage watches and a little side hustle is also dealing in vintage watches because that means I get to work on what I want to work on. And um, unfortunately, it isn't too much vintage Rolex or protect the lips, but I do like these underestimated fantastic watches like this Suma.
really nice in-house manufactured movement look at that dial how can it go wrong 33 millimeter case without the crown it's got the original sign crown the case has been uh, replated it's a uh, chromium case so it's chrome plated now which is very hard wearing and uh, will probably outlast anyone that uh, wears it as it should a bit sparsely it had lasted already 60 years before this or 70 years even i'm not sure about 65 i reckon mid 50s but uh yeah could be yours go to www.mitka.co.uk check it out see what you think um again hate to be a salesperson but i do have to kind of pay for this watch and car sickness that i have i hope you enjoyed this little uh promotional sales video for this Suma Triplex and uh, yeah if uh, you don't buy anything that's absolutely fine just go and check the website out there's lots of cool stuff there and check my other videos out all right have a good one